Health is the state of balance between every system in your body. Whether your digestive tract, your cardiopulmonary system, your brain system, your endocrine system, and so on and so forth. And every one of those systems are controlled by the brain. We give you all the information for you to take it, go home, and make it happen. Because doctor means teacher. So how to stay fit while you sit is breathe, eat your breakfast, then snack if you want. Focusing on your abilities to do the right thing at work is always important to emphasize on the good things that you can do, not your mistakes, not your weaknesses. Always think positive about your strengths, your triumphs, or your successes that you are, how much you are loved. Because you are, you're sitting here. Look, how your few people that are sitting and they want, to, they want to stay fit while they sit. Remember, deep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth, always. Okay, just take one minute to do that. You don't have time to do yoga? Fine. You don't have time to do medit meditation? Fine, that's okay. You don't have to. Just sit on your chair. One minute, just one minute. It's not going to kill anybody. Not even the, the, the uh, stockholders. <laughs> that one minute, just sit down. Don't think about anything. Don't hear anything. Okay? Don't think about the tasks that you have to do, your projects, your deadline, things like that. Just sit, relax, and breathe. I can assure you, your blood pressure will come down, your stress will go down, your cortisol will level off, your insulin goes off, your craving for sugar will diminish a little bit if you make this a habit. It's really important. We can control our bodies. That's called biofeedback. In terms of exercise that you can do at while you're seated, very simple stuff. Just right now, we can actually do it. Let's, let's try to do it again. Let's do it. Let's wake up. Come on. Just the same way you are, right? Put your arms together, bring your arms up, straight up, stretch, stretch, and breathe. Breathe. Perfect. It shouldn't take more than a minute, all this three. No more than a minute. Okay? Now, putting your arms back. Very simple stuff. Then the next one, put your arms together and tuck in your pelvis in. Breakfast. Yeah, some of you guys may say, I had a breakfast today. Well, I'm not talking about the pastry that you got at Starbucks with your coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the real breakfast. Real breakfast usually involves some sort of protein, okay? And that protein is the life to your body. When you start your day with a breakfast, that has protein in it, we're gonna see how much of a benefit it does have for your persona, for your brain, for your viability and what you're doing, your concentration, your focus, etc., etc. Good posture. As a chiropractor before, not a chiropractic neurologist and a fellow in functional medicine, when I see the posture, the first thing that comes to my mind is brain. So if you're upright, the eyes are straight and they level themselves so with the horizon pretty nicely. It doesn't require that much of an energy input. But once you're in this system, in this position, your head is kind of forward, your head has to come up and then level themselves with the horizon, with the monitor, what you're, what you're seeing, what you're watching. And that requires an enormous amount of fuel delivery to the brain, which leads in a sustained and long-term period of time, it's sustained to fatigue of the brain which we call it brain fog. People say, I just feel out of it. You don't even have to have pain. Just for you to say, I feel out of it, you are out of it. Your brain is not in the place it's supposed to be. The reflexes, the stimulation are not that fast. They're really slow. When I say slow, I don't mean turtle slow. I mean micro milliseconds of slowing down. And of course, supplementation. Some of us have a very large cabinet of supplements, vitamins, and herbs, and things like that. We just look at them every day, right? Which is, we, we, we probably are trying to do it by osmosis, right? It's like, yeah, okay, if I see it enough, it goes in. It won't, guaranteed. Hydration level. Hydration, hydration, hydration. And when I say water, we're not made of coffee, we're not made of sodas, we're made of water. So if you want to replenish your system, you need to drink water, okay? We're not camels. We cannot go on for a long time without water in our, in our system. And I'm sorry, um, Coke and Pepsi and sodas are not really water, okay? Again, coffee is not water. 
It can hydrate you, but most researchers have shown that tea and coffee are dehydrating agents. But if you want to lose weight, if you want to maintain a sharp focus, you can drink coffee. As a matter of fact, a recent study has shown that black coffee, black coffee, no milk, no sugar in it, sorry, <laughs> how tasteless that is, right? It has proven to be anti-diabetic in nature. Having a right spine when you're standing or you're sitting down is really important. That is gravity acting on you. Gravity is the most constant force ever in our body. And if you have, if you tamper with this S-shaped curve over here, if it's a little too much or a little too low, then it changes the line of gravity in our system. Then it puts pressure on other joints because it's the redistribution of the weight that has to go through the center of the spine, then suddenly shifts to the low back muscle. It suddenly shifts to the left hip muscle. And then you stand up and you're like, let me, let me. you don't even know what you did because you were sitting down doing your work, you didn't play soccer. And of course, this, this is about one of my favorite pictures. This is, this is the new era, right? Things that we don't even pay attention to, but they exist within the first 10 feet away from us, right? In a 10 feet diameter, we have all of these things happen. And there's a lot of electromagnetic waves just passing through, going in, going out, which actually happens to be pathological in some ways. A lot of these radio waves, magnetic waves, are not healthy for us. They change the dynamic of our DNA. Talking on the cell phone without a headset is one of the biggest problems that we're having, an increase in 300% in brain cancers in younger people. It's crazy. Then our system doesn't have enough serotonin. Now there is a rise on depression. And now a lot of psychiatrists are seeing the association and correlation between antibiotic usage and depression. Because once you get you give antibiotics so many times over the lifetime of a patient, then you're getting rid of their serotonin, therefore the serotonin doesn't get to the brain, therefore you're depressed, lack of sleep, insomnia, right? Anxiety, anything bothers you. I do this, you jump. Those are things that are associated with the gut. Hence, the gut-brain connection. So then we put patients on, our, on a rotation diet. So we say, whichever you're severely sensitive to, you not touch it in six months. We only do this other ones that we can. Then we bring in those very severe desensitive ones, one at a time each week. And then you've already developed immunity to them. Then you can go back and eat anything you want and just be healthy. A lot of times, our weight loss program works in this way. We get rid of those things that patients are sensitive to, they start losing weight. It's amazing. This is what we do. Blood work, entire thing is going to be checked. Your hormones will be checked, amino acids, antioxidants, essential fatty acids for your nerves, your brains. Everything will be checked. All the minds in alternative and the Western medicine are needed. The good ones are needed to come together and work for one patient. We give you all the information for you to take it, go home, and make it happen. Because doctor means teacher. And laughing. This one, come on.